Ooh, what's going on there, YouTube? Today is Wednesday. <clears throat> that gum. Maybe the third of May. I am in my 6120. My Vermeer 504 uh, signature baler behind me. Bailing hay. So I got a, a neighbor that his baler tore up. And he called and asked if we'd bail hay. And I said, certainly. I love to bail hay. So I haven't filmed any yet. I, I'm on my, I bailed two bales, but it's the first time I pulled the camera out because this field that I'm in that I'm starting on for him is tight. It's real short rows, a lot of trees. So not gonna get any filming real much now. Um, but I, there's a bigger field with longer rows and no trees. I'll uh, I'll film when I get over there with that, or try to. We'll see. I don't know. Fly by the seat of my pants here, but I'm bailing. Another thing I did today, when I got off work, I went and met with the Sessions Peanut Company and picked up my peanut seed. So got that, ready to plant seed now. Just gotta get done bailing that. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. All right, it says that bill is wrapped. Let's see. Really can't tell. Yep, that bell looks good. Nice, pretty bell. I'm running out of net wrap, so the bells have a red streak on them. Once, once you get to the red streak, well, I know where Vermeer net wrap, <clears throat> you got about five bells, and then you're gonna change net wrap. So. I have dropped three with red, and I dropped one in the last field, so I should be on my last bell, or either the next one will be the last bell, so we'll see. Maybe the next one I get out of this field right here. I don't know, I mean, I don't know. You see the field is full of trees. It's not, a, it's not ideal, but it works. Makes hay. Stay tuned. All right, so I ran out of net wrap. It tried to wrap, and when it couldn't wrap, it tried twice to wrap, and when it couldn't wrap, it popped up this error message saying that it couldn't wrap. Do not eject bell, so now I go chase the net wrap. All right, first net wrap load of the year. Looks like it did good. I can see that wrap on the bell in there. Everything looks good. It's a little dusty. Time to get going. Oh, only got two rows after I'm done. Alright, this wrap is telling me to kick it out. Let's kick it out. There it goes. We have to speed this up. So, to speed up my hydraulics so my door opens faster and closes faster, I'm on flow. I'm gonna up my flow amount to seven for the close and flow amount to seven for the open. So, see how much bigger the gray area is now compared to the gray area on this one? It's on 1.64, 3.16. All right, it's time to get back to building. All right, everybody, I'm still a bailing, but I'm getting close to being done. I only like four more rounds. The downside, this field was raked yesterday. So the downside to that is, first of all, the dew fell on it, so it's kind of matted down. But the wind's been blowing also, so it's blowed, I don't know if you can tell, there's, you know, hay scattered around out there. Well, I've already built all that, but because of the wind blew the windrows around, right here's a good spot. The wind blew all that hay off the windrow that I'm on now. So that's the downside of raking a day before. I like to rake right in front of the baler. That way you don't have this problem. But I mean, it, it is what it is. You know, man's baler tore up. So I wish I could have come over and done it yesterday, but it's all right. We'll get her knocked out today. I only made eight bales so far, so. I probably have a tiny, a small bell, maybe. I've only got three more rounds left. Let's 
chit chat or rolling off. I just dumped that thing downhill. Whoops. It stopped though. Ah. Oh, I'm glad it stopped. If it wouldn't have it, I kept on going. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like this place. Man, he's blowed everywhere right here. I'll bring y'all back out when I get done. All right. We're done bailing. Daddy's going to follow me home. Get out of here. It's going to be about a 15 minute ride home. It's, it's not that far from the house, but you got to go around your elbow. You know what I mean? Good grief. Remember that. Mm -hmm. All right. I got daddy behind me in my truck. He's going to follow me home. It's not a, it's not far, but uh, Interstate 84 is what we call Highway 84. I can get on 84 and go home a lot faster, but I'm not going to do that because people fly on that thing, which I'm one of them usually. So I'm going to go around back to Dale County 1 to get home so I can avoid 84. So be a little bit of a ride home, but we headed that way. That old tractor right there. It's pretty cool. We get it on display. This is a neat place back here. There's a bunch of pastures. And crap everywhere back here. <laughs> All right, everybody. It is, what is today? Today's Thursday. I've been kind of under the weather today, but it's all right. I'm getting there. It's hot in this cab, but I am over at my uh, friend's place. Uh, we cut this Monday and Tuesday and it is dry. So we are going to start bailing today. So dad brought the uh, little tractor over here this morning and now I am fixing to start raking. He's on his way be here in about an hour. So I figured I can get all the outside rounds done and raked up and then start bailing. So here we go. I got Roscoe with me today. Brother, you come with me that's sit at home. So that's what we're doing. Y'all stay tuned. All right, finish with my turnaround rows on both fields. Let's fence divide the two fields. So now we're fixing to hop in the baler and start bailing. Maybe by the time I finish bailing the turnaround rows, Dan will be here or William, and one of them can take over raking. So that's where we're at. I got a time lapse going. I really hope it works. I'm fixing a check on it. It'd be pretty cool when we get the time lapse of the raking and bailing. So, then Roscoe's fixed to hop out at 57 to 5. Man, this tractor is perfect for raking. Air conditioning, that's nice. So, stay tuned. All right, bail number one is wrapping. Make sure it wraps. It wrapped according to that. I wonder if it'll come out this side. Let's see. Oops, stay right behind the bed. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Worked out good. Moisture's good. And the first bell wrapped. So we keep going. This is a pretty smooth field, so I can go, which I'm going... 5.4 right now. Try to stay on the road. And it should be this. See what it does when I pop it up in here. Six. Six. That's good. That'll work. Moisture's at 11% right now, which is great. It's a little higher on the wood line over there, which has to be expected. Because of shade and it's thicker over there. So we're rocking and rolling. I get 20 bales off this, maybe. Be nice, we got 30. <laughs> but I got time lapse set up right there on the 
gooseneck of the trailer. There's my rake. Park my truck over there to shade. Thank you, Mr. Larry. <laughs> All right, y'all stay tuned. We keep rocking and rolling. That's the hay that I built last year over here. Slow down, go around this curve. You didn't quite feed it all. <laughs> all right, bell number two. I almost made it one full round, which is good. The less I go, the better. It means more hay. Bell rolled out. That's a big bell. Made it a little too big. That's all right. Here we go again. That's two. Ooh, that one's a little lopsided too. Whoops. Gotta quit filming. That's pretty out there to me. That hay laid out like that. It's good hay. So, this is also pretty to me. That clean green, like a, somebody's front yard. Feller's doing good. I got some, a uh, bunch of tines broke on my rake. Oh, let me slow down. Where's the tears? A bunch of tines broke on my rake. And I replaced a bunch last year, but I think I'm going to have to just buy new wheels two new wheels the, the center wheel on both sides got a bunch of tines busted off of it and I think that's because when you turn that's the pivot point on the rake so I think I'm just gonna buy new wheels and just replace the whole wheel because they're they're gonna keep breaking buzzer out here he must have seen a rat or something mouse so we might make a full round on this one because I'm at 48 right now it's got to go to 58 and there's the, the last bell I dumped out right in front of us it's dry too that's the thing about this uh, perennial ride it's either wet or it's dry. There really ain't no in between. 8%, 9%. I'd rather it be at 15%, but you'll do what you, you know, take what you got. 56, 57, let's knock it out of gear. 58, ha <laughs> we didn't make it. That's all right though. That's a good thing. Hit my hydraulic level to open my door. Bell's out. Oh, close my door. There we go. Hydraulic oh, handle keeps sticking. And go again. I hope uh, Daddy brings William, let him rake these. Just go long rows. Might be easier for him. Not a lot of turning or something. So, looks good though. Three bells on three rounds. <laughs> but this is the last round on this field for the outside rows. I'll go up and then come back down and do the other field. Then it'll be time to rake again. All right, my rake drivers are here. Apparently daddy's getting it, gonna get it set up for William. All right, we're doing it. This is the GS3 in action. There's dad and William in that tractor and me and the Baylor tractor. Mr. Larry's out here moving hay too. Pull out one of the straps. We'll get the bell a little closer to the where he's stacking them.
basically what I did right there was give William time to start his next row. Uh oh, somebody just pulled in the field. Got out the road. Hopper's teaching over there. It's good. Oh, that's a car. I better get going or I'm going to catch him. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, you two. Larry's moving hay. Dan William got another round of rake. They have swap seats. I don't know what the deal is. William is not raking anymore. Well, oh, they're swapping seats again. This year's A versus last year's A. And there goes we go. We'll find out what was wrong with the other one there. Alright, we'll see if William can execute this fold and turn. Oh he's Holding on the move. It's new. Good job. I went to the pole. Oh, that's terrible. I zoomed in on the dirt on the windshield. Good job, William.
gonna finish 13 bales. I got a piece of the bale in the baler, but I'm gonna dump it out in the pastures. Dad and William's picking up a bale to bring back up to the barn. That leaves one bale, because Mr. Larry's got a bale up there on his tractor. Dad's got a bale, and that leaves one. And it'll be cut, raked, baled, and stacked. All in a couple hours. So, good day. Pick my hair up so I don't get no rocks. Very pleased with how the baler did, the rake did. Everything's pretty filled. Uh, wish we'd had more, but that's what happens when you're dealing with first cut clover and rye. And it's not a lot of grass. I was gonna wrap it up. I have to load up, start heading, every, hauling everything back home. All right, me and William Roscoe just made it back over to Mr. Larry's place and got the big tractor, put four binders on it, two chains, two binders, two chains, two binders. She is not going nowhere. So now we're just gonna load up and take it to the next job. We're not taking it home. It's going out to Dad's contract because we got to bush hog the field, the big the big field. Another yeah, that's fine. We're out of chains though. So, me and William, since we got it on the tractor, we're going to go ahead and haul, haul it out there and unload it, and then we just pull the bush hog. So, uh, so what are we doing? And we will be done over here at this place. I don't know what happened out there. Oops. All right, let's go, dude. Let's go, Roscoe. You ready? A little bit more, a little bit bigger, and he'll be able to load up by himself. <laughs> All right. William, Roscoe, and I have made it to our destination. That's the field right there. We're going to bush hog. It's a big one. That's why we got the 15-foot bush hog. Did you unchain him? So now we got to get the tractor off the trailer and drive it over to the field and put it in the gate. Then tomorrow we'll bring the bush hog. All right, tractor has been dropped off in the fence. Ramps are back up. We're done for the day. It is 6.15. By the time we get home, get the trailer unhooked, it'll be seven. So we're gonna call it quits. I appreciate y'all clicking on the video. If you've made it this far, give me a comment. Tell me where you're from. You know, we done India, we done, what, what else I do? What are you doing? Japan, England, William hurt himself. He's kind of rough on himself. Mm -hmm. You gonna get the dog in? I want to get in there. Yeah, we'll see. All right, click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. Good boy. Hey, tell him bye. Bye. Bye, Roscoe. <laughs> Welcome to Strickler Farm. Yeah.